against a Sheik that's not That's me. not you. <laughs> yeah. is pretty good, but definitely a level below Tusk. How do, how do you feel about the stage strike to Battlefield? It's completely standard. <laughs> I always love when commentators are... or it, it, It's a really annoying trend for me how they always ask about stage selection because a lot of times you'll see, like, Fox loses against, like, a Puff or a Peach and they mm -hmm. switch to Stadium. Someone's like, no, oh, that's interesting. Why would Fox go to, like, Stadium? What do you think of that pick? <laughs> I think it's pretty good. He can, he can kill off the top well. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm like, oh, boy, I haven't heard that every right. single time this counter pick happens. Oh, well, Lord, that's a quick stock. 4K starting it up. That's what Sheik does. And this is uh, your call. 4K oh, dying. That's was... not what Sheik does. That's not what Sheik All does. Right. <laughs> Missed the needle turnaround. We get, we get rid of those in the beginning of the match. Let's see if 4K has any semblance of tech chasing. I don't. Uh, sample size of one, it looks like he doesn't either, but we'll see. Ooh, Tops like is that. good at doing the subtle mix ups, though. The like DI behind you, the DI like, slightly away. I like the drill that he did on the miss tech on the platform. Oh, he's been doing that to me a lot recently. It's really annoying. The uh, It's good. It's it's like a jab reset yeah. and, and damage. And just like it covers uh, Tekken Place too, I Ooh, think. That, that, that started with a cross-up dare, hit him Whoa. with the last hit. Oh, he could have just uh, held the whole time. Just like waited and then rolled. There's no hitbox when Sheik comes down. Okay, solid, solid stock for tops. Yo, Josh, who won your set? Or what was your set? Two of Against? Okay, yeah. Ooh. Oh, did he lose his oh, jump? Oh, he got the read on the high, but he didn't uh, He didn't bear in time. I like that, to just run past him in shield. Yeah. Oh, I hate when that happens. I do that all the time. That would have been an even game. Let's see if he can still close it out without taking too much damage. He's going to be looking for, what, a grab or, like, a down smash? Yeah. Oh, up tops doesn't get the wave dash out of shield punish. Can tech though? Yeah, I'm gonna put this down as a minimal tech chasing. Not that my tech chasing sucks too, so it's like. Oh, that was a good spot dodge on the after the jab. Wait, tops is gonna be warmed up if he has to play me in semis now. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, wait, but uh, yeah. Does well, up air true combo into uh, up or up up's throw? Does that true combo into up air on sheep? Uh. Really. Yeah, uh, it kind depends of. on the percent. Uh, it usually yes. There's like you can make it harder for them with DI, and you can smash DI the up air, but pretty much. Uh, good fair grab. Okay. Good tech chase. If you don't uh, go for the grab, I, just dash attack. I, th I thought he was gonna jump up and just fair him out of that. That was oh. actually great. Oh, he this covered sucks. he covered all options with that fair, yeah. and then he continued to get the dat the jump cancel grab. Oh, the down tilt, the double down tilt was really nice DI mix up. He just, there we go. Okay, it was a close game. So Scott's got to be sure not oh, to use his boy. Re like he's been using his. It's jump. happening. This is where the tech chasing comes out. He, he can't. The DI behind is so hard to cover. He's I'm so been, bad at it. He's been using his jump kind of early when he's gotten off stage. So yeah, let's see that's if, that's punishable. Yeah, let's see if that uh, that happens. He rolls right into the grab. He actually hits the tech chase this more than I do. Auto cancel fair, very subtle. Tops weights and shield. That's that's game. Ooh, there were doubters. There were doubters. Just throwing. The tops you got. Rally it back. He's getting the music out. There were doubters, Jared. If this was a like a like a documentary, this is where you start playing like some nice hype music. Whatever's going on in his headphones. Just tops went down to an early first loss, and then he will try. <laughs> <laughs> the combo video montage starts up, them just destroying him the next two games. He later won 2-0 on the run back. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh man, this, yo, this is serious. Let's go. I just, I just, hear, I just hear Adam like, she can't cheese Fox that hard. I just look over at Top Center and just like. <laughs> I saw at the end of the last game, he was trying to go so deep, 
so that she couldn't chase him. Yeah, that was I was actually really scared. I'm like, is oh, not gonna make or it is back? like, I'm like, uh, I have trouble with that sometimes because you have to decide like, is it worth it to go for the fair? You aren't gonna make it back. Um, okay, he's got it. Yeah, this. Yeah, that's this if you're at a total way through, it's so hard to get them. You, his his hands are moving right he now. He covers that smash DI. That's uh, good. That's how you know he's on. Because you can you can see right. He's focused. He has got. He's trying to get all of his tech skill on point. Like his APM right now is probably crazy. No, no it's game two. two. It's on Stadium. How would it be game one? Oh oh, you are right. We did not update game one. That is correct. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. That's my beat. Yeah, Top seems to be getting his act together right here. I think. Oh, I thought that was such good spacing. He just hit the tip, but the grab reached it. Ooh, get stuck in a shield, but or stuck in shine, but no punish. You can you can punish that with wave dash backwards out of shield, but he he just went for the full hop. So I think you know if I was Porkai, the the goal right now right is try not to match Tops' pace. Right, I think that you're you're yeah. trying to play at a slower pace while he's you know pressing all these buttons around you. You're kind of waiting for him to make a mistake. Okay, interesting. Who covers the who? Oh, that was good. Unsafe that's still on shield. I don't think not enough. Tilt's not great in close quarter situations because even if, other than shield, just crouch cancel is so strong. Best you can hope for is you catch them starting a jump. There we go. Oh, 4K hits another smash DI. He seems to have that on deck. So we see this three times in a row that Porkai has done a late aerial right before he lands on the ground. So I'm, yeah. I'm curious to see if Tops has picked up on that. Below. Yeah. Porkai seemed to be covering high a lot on these edge guards. Tops usually goes low. He got caught going high a few times. I think if he starts going low again, uh, we'll see if Porkai adapts or not. Or beard. Okay. <laughs> Porkai uh, with a little triple scoot back. Yeah, that was kind of like a, a Hail Mary down smash. Oh, oh what go. a grab. Misses the follow-up, but he's uh, he's in a pretty, pretty solid position. A very solid position. So we see he was trying to space him out with back air, but you're, so Tops did pick up on that. Those late aerials at the end, he waited for him to do that, punished him out of the lag with the up smash. Yeah, so I think Tops was just thinking, like, yeah, it's like my first round of the tournament. Like, it shouldn't be bad, just going to go in and, like, you know, just, like, beat them. He gets cut, caught off guard, and so he's like, okay, got to go get the music and go, like, try hard mode now. I think Tops... I think he's lost game one several times to like lower rank players, but he's good at bringing it back. He's also good at bust rank, but he's good at bringing it back too. <laughs> Ooh, wave dash is in right underneath that. I think Porky's looking a little lost. He's uh, uh he's like, been trying to get away and rolling a bunch in close quarters, and Tops has just been kind of running circles around him. Yeah, I mean, he's not really finding any way in. Ooh. He's kind of just moving around it. Uh, it doesn't look like he's really trying to get in. It doesn't really look like he's really waiting to punish what Tops is doing because Tops is just all around him. Yeah. So what would you say is probably like the next two best stages that Sheik could play Fox on? Well, Fountain was just banned. Honestly, I have half a mind to take him back to Battlefield here, except he can't. Dave's stupid rule. Uh -huh. um, if you like big stages, Dreamland. If not... Uh, Now take him to Dreamland. Dreamland yeah. Yeah. Although sometimes, even though Story is like Fox favored in yeah. the matchup in quotes, I think Story can be a decent stage for Sheik. Um, especially against a Fox like Tops, I've actually had really good success on Story because yeah. uh, so Tops, he goes by the ledge too much, he dies. Uh -huh. If I just stay by the ledge enough, he'll die. But on Dreamland, there's not that much. Not that much of the stage is near the ledge. Yeah, I, um, I can see what you're saying. Story, you're you're always like one hit away from them being at the edge, and two hits away from them being off stage. Uh, and even though you die off the top super fast, even though Fox can be oppressive, even though he has Randall to help recover, although you have Randall too. Yeah. Oh, update score, yeah. Uh, I think just having the ability to have the edge like right there for you at all times. Yes, we just did. Oh, that's a... Okay, I thought that was an up smash, but I guess not. Having the ledge right there for you at story I, all the time, so you can do stuff like this. So this is... this is I don't know if it's just me. I think Tops is playing way too close to the ledge. Oh, very right? much so. Like, I think he needs to back off. He does not need to be that close. Yeah. 
the story, you can just always get them there. Um, that's how you that's how you take stocks early from Fox. Especially because if you're gonna get cheesed, it's gonna happen if you play at the ledge. That said, Dreamline is good for like he lived that uh, mm. up smasher up air there. Oh, that was Dive a great shine. Down. He came in with, I don't know if that was a dash grab or a boost grab, but caught him just at the nick of time when his invincibility was ending. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I think 4 is getting a little overwhelmed right now by tops. I thought he was going to go for another down throw, kind of like for that disrespect. Yeah, you can't jump in there against Fox. Oh, is that? Yeah. That, oh, that's... you got a DI in that. The, uh, when I'm coming back to stage or coming down from above, that I used to mistake. always think, uh, so, you know, you're, you're coming back to stage, you're coming down from above, yeah. and I used to always have this mindset, like, oh, I want to drift into them and hit them with something. Yeah. Like, the way I'll stop them from edge carrying me is I go and hit them first, or, oh, I'll fall down, but I'll land on them with an aerial first. Mm -hmm. This works every once in a while, but I found, like, just don't. It, this is not worth it. It's, like, low reward, high risk. Yeah. Um... Just like stay away from any of their hits. Um, every once in a while, you spot them overextending, and then you can jump in with the aerial. But uh, don't try to challenge Fox when you're in like a super bad position. That was good edge guard. See, uh, just give him space and get back. Reset neutral before trying to challenge him. Don't challenge yeah. him in a disadvantage state. So okay, let's see. He's gonna take center stage. I was actually that was a good DI mix up if you hit him on the other side. Yeah. But I saw at the end of that last stock, poor Kai was kind of fishing for a down smash in those early percents. And then, uh, what's it called? Then he got, you know, that nice edge guard with the runoff fair. But I'm hoping that he doesn't resort to that now because, you know, he's going to need to play like a solid neutral. You know, he can't really go for those risky options. I think right now he needs more than a solid neutral. He needs tops to SD, <laughs> a gimp, and then a solid neutral stock. But this is looking over. Uh, tops reads him going on stage, doesn't get it. Yeah. Tops looks like he's got his act together. All these trades, every time they pop, it's just more advantage for Tops. So I see, you know, he keeps doing double jab, F tilt, down tilt in that order. Yeah, and then he's punishing him with the roll. Okay, well, he got yeah. the triple jab there, but. The F tilt's pretty not safe, but if it's spaced, you can get away with it. Um, it's good for opponents that are, like, kind of nervous and their out of shield options aren't completely on point. Mm -hmm. uh, jabs spook people a little bit, sometimes acting out of shield, and if they hesitate and then act late out of shield, the forward tilt will catch them. Ah, uh, there we go. But if they're holding down, it doesn't do anything, so, so don't forward tilt shields at close range, even though I do it all the time because I'm bad. Yo, Scott, way to turn it around. <laughs> 